Hello and welcome everybody. This is Dottie Berry coming to you from Blaine, Washington with the Power Lead System and Lead Lightning. You know, this is uh, going to be some fun tonight. I'm going to be solo tonight without Barry Tuck. He's uh, working on a deployment all, all week and uh, so he's not going to be with me here tonight. But how perfect is it that we're working on solo ads tonight? Yeah, really, we're going to be talking about building your list um, with lead lightning via solo ads. Okay. And we're talking about the good, bad, and the ugly. Now, what do I mean? Well, you know, people are all the time asking, how can I build this business? Because honestly, it's, it's not just about building a list. It is, but it's about offering that list value. It's about giving that list offers when you connect with them in a certain way and know who you are dealing with. And so, you, you really do have to build a list and you have to go know how to go about that because at the end of the day, a funnel is a funnel is a funnel. We've said this before, but uh, no, nothing going into the funnel, nothing's going to happen, okay? So you can't expect just to go in there, get a link, have a funnel saying, I've got a funnel and driving no traffic to it. Because it's going to work to build your list if you build uh, and, and bring the proper kind of traffic to it. So what is the proper kind of traffic? Well, first of all, I like to have people look at the big picture. I mean, there's a lot of different ways to build a list, okay? We just happen to be uh, covering about solo ads tonight in building your list. There's uh, Facebook ads. There's all kinds of different marketing. You can do marketing via LinkedIn. Um, you know, it goes on and on. Free ad secrets. We're going to be uh, having that on real soon and going over that because that is one of our uh, memberships when you upgrade and how to utilize that. And so we're, we're, we're going to be going in all kinds of things. But let's go back and talk about our subject tonight, which is solo ads. So first of all, you have to look at what type of money do I have to budget? I don't care if it's $5 a week, $10 a week, $30 a week, whatever it is, you've got to know your budget. And then that's how you go and look at, you know, really what you're going to do. And when you're first starting off, I don't care um, if you're going in the back office of uh, Power Lead System looking for solo ad vendors, and we're going to talk about the process. Trust me, that's what the good, the bad, and the ugly comes in. But, you know, you, you have to kind of decide what you're going to do, how much you're going to spend. But I can tell you, I don't use anybody, no matter what happens, and buy a whole lot of clicks right off the bat. I want to do a little bit of testing. If I can't test with 100 clicks on a solo ad, uh, I really don't want to run a whole lot of traffic with them. Because what if you run three to 500 clicks and it's a bust? And they're not the type of solo ad vendor that's going to make sure that you're a happy customer. Because see, at the end of the day, this is a relationship building business. It doesn't matter if you're working with your clients or with the solo vendors or working with you. That's building a relationship. So you deserve to be able to ask questions, get feedback, and I'm going to show you some of that. So the bottom line is, here's my suggestion. Don't go sending your lead lightning link to all your friends and family. They are not interested. <laughs> you know, that's just the truth. Most of them are not interested in being uh, entrepreneurs or having a marketing system. If you know somebody that has a business offline or one online, certainly that's, that's a great source to go to them and, and offer what you've got. But the truth of the matter is, you're trying to attract the right type of prospect. So that's kind of how, why I have that little image up on um, the site that you see, Coach B Gold Nuggets. People with their hands in the air, you know, sending those offers by them. They're the people who are looking for what you've got. And that's really what online marketing is about. It's about connecting with the proper audience. And when you do that, it is so sweet and it is so much fun. But here's what I say. Test with 100 and build with 300. Make your offers, sell your offers. Now, here's the thing. A lot of people think of only offering their opportunity, their product, whatever it is they're doing. And they miss out on a lot of good things that way. We're going to talk about that a little bit later too. But I'm going to go ahead and do a little screen share here and go through kind of um, some of the just processes that you go through. Like people may say, well, what do I do first? Well, first of all, you can go in your back office and you can look at what's available in our training in, in regards to solo ads. Now, that might not be the way you end up doing it, but I want you to know that that is available. 
And then I'm going to take you on Facebook and let you see. You know, it's really interesting. I was talking with a gentleman uh, recently. We had a lot of similar philosophy about how to approach this. He was going to be on here tonight. He had a, a, a swimming date with his daughter, so that didn't happen. But, y you know, we had so many similarities in the way we approach with these solo ads. So we're going to be talking about a few of these things. So let me get my glasses on here and go ahead and do a little screen share. I'm going to go into the back office first. Okay. Let me just get it going here. Okay, you should be seeing this right here. And uh, just make sure that that's showing up. It is. Oh, it's going into infinity. Okay, let me just look over here. Make sure that that is all lined up. See, when I'm going solo here, it's going to infinity again. It's not showing what I'm trying to show you right now. Okay, I'm going to go back over here because the, I'm going to stop that screen share. That is something really strange. And I'm going to screen share again. Okay. And I'm going to go right there. And it looks like we're we're lined up now. Okay, let me go back over to the actual website and off the Google Hangout. Okay, so here's the thing. Right now I am in the back office of um, Power Lead System, okay? What I've done, and you all, if you're in Lead Lighting, you have access to this training. Now, I'm actually in the back office of Power Lead System. That's the upgrade from Lead Lightning, where you can do a whole lot more of customization. But everybody gets the training here, the basic training that we've got, which is just done. So you either create a username and password, or you click to log in, okay? I've already logged in, and when I've gone in here and went into the back office, I actually went to marketing, okay? So this is where you go. And you're going to be able to, first of all, get a sample swipe at the bottom of the page for your lead lightning. But the truth of the matter is sometimes um, people with solo ads will use copy that's way too long. Reality is your most important thing is that subject line. Because if they don't open it up, it doesn't matter. Now, some solo um, vendors, they just use a link. Okay, they don't use email swipe. You got to talk to your vendor and find out what they're doing, what you want. Um, I like to work with um, email copy and put my link in there, but I usually like to have a little more than just what that offer is. We'll talk about that in a minute. But anyway, it's going to say right here quality clicks number one. If you click here, you're going to be able to see that this is a way for you to go and check out the click agency top tier only, private invitation only. It says it's right here for Power Lead System. It shows you um, what they're doing, how they go about it. And they're showing you, here's just a few of the offers we provide clicks for. So it's listing those in there. So that's one of the ways you can come in here and see about doing solo ads. Right here. He's telling, Neil's going over this right here about solo ads. So each one of these you can click on, all right, and check out. So I'm just going to click through a few of these just so you know where they are. Now this one right here, hey, this is another one. Hi, this is Igor Kifitz, and uh, thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Now this is a very special message for anyone who's a member of uh, Power Lead System Pro. And uh, so he's, he's telling you right there. Okay. Now, all of these are different solo ad vendors. And my point right here is showing you where you can access that. Who you're going to use, how you're going to go about it are two different things. Okay. Let me take you down to one right here. This is one that Manny likes using a lot. It's called Solo Checker. And Solo Checker is sort of like um, a big group that can go ahead and tell you stats from all of the solo vendors. It's kind of like they check out the solo ad vendors. Does that make sense? Uh, it's got real-time visibility of the solo ads. Um, you can find and reserve your perfect solo ad in seconds, you know, all kinds of things here. Now, if you're interested more in that one, the reason I'm not going to go into that, Manny's got a, a training right here, okay, that you can click on and go check it out. If you need a rotator, here's a free rotator that you can get. What does that mean? You might have different links 
And if you have one link where those various links are in it, then they'll rotate through those, okay? Now, below here is solo ad vendors. So what you're doing is you're sending someone an ad to someone else's list or newsletter. So here's how you have to consider it. A solo ad vendor is someone who is building a bit business of having a big list. And then they're letting you, so to speak, rent their list for a number of clicks that they deliver to you. So you can either go out and, and build yourself a big list and then become a solo vendor if that is what floats your boat. Or you can go direct to these people who have already done that work and then concentrate on what you like to do best, which may be your primary business and you're just wanting to, you know, build your list. So you're going to contact the list owner, submit your ad, play and watch the traffic flow in. Here's a, here's a video that you can click on. You're going to learn a little bit about the solo, solo ad ads are just one more way to advertise. And if you've never done, you heard what Neil said, one more way to advertise. So you come in here and you look at all of these solo ad vendors and you're going, my goodness, this is unbelievable. Where do I start? What do I do? Because how do you know who's good? And what if, what if I use them? Maybe I have a low budget and, and I just don't know what to do, where to go who to choose. This is a lot of choices. So the reason I wanted you to see all this is where there are some resources. But what if you really want to go and check them out? Well, here's what you do. You go over here and let me just uh, get on Facebook here. Get back over. I had some things up. Let me just see. Okay, let me just pull up Facebook right now. And my computer uh, was unplugged and all of a sudden went out right before we started. Okay, so let's say that you wanted to check out some things. So you could put in solo ads, testimonials. Okay, look at everything that pops up. You see all those? So I'll just give you an example of something. Um, today, I went and I checked on this one. Because what people are doing is they're giving feedback. It's kind of similar to solo ad checker, okay? You're going to be able to see feedback on these people. Because some of the times when you just go to somebody's personal website and they've gotten people to say testimonies about them and it says Tracy M or Malcolm V or whoever, you're thinking, I don't know about this. You know, the best ones are the ones that are video ones. I think those are even better. But still, you wonder, hmm, how do I know this is for real? So you want to feel somewhat protected. So you can come in here, and you can actually go and check out some of the feedback on the sellers. So I actually came here just so I could show you how this works. Now, see, they'll tell you how many they ordered, how many they received, their opt-in rate, whether it was uh, tier one, tier one means the countries like United States, Canada, the UK, New Zealand, Australia, because those are English speaking countries, okay, called top, the tier one leads. Uh, and they usually cost a little bit more, okay? So here's one that I saw today. So I went and I said, well, I'm going to go say hello to Fotis. I guess I'm pronouncing his name right. I didn't know him before today. So I kind of want to show you what I did. I was looking at it. I said, okay, clicks ordered, received 341% opt-in rate. And you may already be asking, okay, if I do a solo ad, how do I know if it's pretty good? Well, a fair, you know, opt-in rate would be a minimum of 30% up to 40, 45%. If you got 50%, that would be awesome. Now I can tell you this right now, if you just get something like 50 clicks, you're probably not going to get any actual sales out of that. Now again, I recommend 100 clicks when I'm wanting to test. What am I looking for in those 100 clicks? I'm looking to see if I get a decent opt-in rate. Hopefully I might get a sale or two out of that with the lead lightning, which is only a what? A $7 sale making what? $6. Now, when I get that, then I'll go, okay, if I get a decent rate, 
then I will go run what? 300 clicks because I want to build and sell with 300. I want to test with 100. So I just go over and I friend this guy right here. And how do you do that? It's a live link, so it shows you who he is. And I go in and I researched him. I checked on him. So then I come over here and, uh, and I said, hi, Fotis. Looks like you deliver great solo ads. Any specials going right now? Now, why am I asking him that? Well, because sometimes they will have certain specials that they are running. Uh, I'll show you something in a minute about that. And do you use an email we supply with our link or what is your process? You see, I'm just chatting with him. Thanks for connecting and accepting my friendship. I do training for the overall community for Lead Lightning and Power Lead System each Tuesday night, training tonight about solo ads. So, you know, he says, hey, nice to meet you. I appreciate your kind words. What kind of special are you interested in? I can use your swipe as well if they convert and if, uh, and if uh, not burned, of course. Um, but in most cases, I prefer to use mine since I know better in what kind of sale copies my list convert. So see, he's given me some real important feedback right here. But I guess the thing I'm wanting you to understand is that um, when we are looking at our ads here, it's pretty daunting, you know, to kind of go in there. Uh, I agree with Manny. Solo ad checker is a great way to check it out. Any of these others should be pretty top notch too. But again, when we're looking at, at these people now, what you could do is you could go over to Facebook and put in those names. Let's just take uh, Wayne right here. And and see if he's, uh, you know, over here on Facebook in any groups doing anything. I don't know who will find, you know. Sometimes you can tell who they are. Uh, let's see, trying to see. I don't know. I've got 13 friends that are similar, so uh, I'm not sure if he's the guy that is the solo ad guy or not. But you have to do a little bit of research. In other words, here's what I want to say to people. They're always wanting to be spoon fed, but this is your business. Treat it like it is. Treat it like a business, not like a hobby. If you want to be in business, you have to be cognizant about what you're doing, about your process. So again, the overall process is that your goal is to build a list. Several weeks ago, I did a training on the value of a lead. And there's even a picture at the bottom of coachbegoldnuggets.com that actually I, where I kept that picture up that kind of describes the value of a lead. So go back and look at that because building that list is extremely important. Giving that uh, people only one offer is not the best idea. And we're, I'm going to talk a, a little bit more about that. But again, when you come back here, start trying to find out if you can find any of these people on Facebook because this is an excellent way of looking for people, okay? Uh, let me just see. So that's solo ad checker. So let's go back here and put in um, solo ad testimonials. Okay. Uh, when you begin to do that and you start typing in, let me just do that again. You're going to see all these others pop up solo, solo ads and ad swaps, solo ad testimonials. That one's got 18,000. That's what we were just on. So we've got uh, another group with 7,000 members. Let's go over there and check that out. Now, this is another one. Uh, I have, uh, so I can click on join the group, okay? And it'll say pending, all right? So, you know, here it's showing people. So you can't just get into that one. You've got to join that, okay? A little bit different from what I showed you a minute ago. In other words, let me go back to that. Uh, this one was the 18,000 give you a little bit of an idea there. Um, so already part of this, uh, you know, it's telling about a solo ad summit, the first one ever. I think that is in Florida. But again, they get, they tell you exactly what the posting format and rules are. Uh, it says, because we all need a place to share our good and bad experiences. You know, I said the good, the bad, and the ugly. You know, here's the deal. There are some solo ads where they charge 80 cents a click up to a, a little over a dollar, but you better really get something out of that. I know I've got some that, uh, 
that, uh, you know, I run some different pricing on and, you know, have different expectations out of that. So posting format, the seller, please tag if possible, the clicks ordered, the clicks received, the opt-in rates, the tier one, sales, if any, otherwise skip this. And then it gives you the rules, post only testimonials or buying clicks, posting clicks for sale is prohibited. So you've got to know what the rules are, but it, this is, this is just a way of checking out your business and making sure that it is going well. Now I'm going to show you uh, another little something here. I think this would be it. Okay. I wanted to bring this one over to you. This is uh, just uh, one of the pictures I had snagged in my snag it. And uh, hopefully you can see this without me have, oops, I don't know. You might not be able to see that. Let me go back here because, okay, that's still, um, I, you know, I didn't share my whole screen. I just, um, let me just stop that right quick and let me see if I can get back over here, share my entire screen. Oh, it's going to infinity again. Uh, let me see if I can get back over here. Oh, it's still doing that. It doesn't want to capture my whole screen tonight. I wanted to show you something else, uh, but I'm going to go off that for now. Okay, so here, here's the thing. What I'm working with you on is how to really, you know, take ownership of your business and what you're doing. Because with these solo ads, they are what's going to drive the traffic to what you're doing. But if you don't know where to begin, my suggestion is look at the ones in the back office, the power lead system. Okay. And lead lightning, you get that same training and then go over to Facebook, check out solo ads, testimonials, get in some of those groups, search for some of those people in the PLS back office, or just get engaged with those and see what people are saying. Look for those good opt-in rates. Uh, no guarantee that yours will get the same because you know, you may be offering something different, but really pick their brains, you know, friend them on Facebook, talk to them, get some feedback, see if they respond to you quickly. I can tell the gentleman that I just showed, he responded to me immediately. I said, Hey, thanks for the quick response. I friended him. He immediately accepted my friendship. So that tells me some good things that he's a business person. So, you know, each step of the way, your real goal is to build that list because we know that the, by the time that list hits 10,000, that it becomes like a snowball and you can do all kind of offers with that particular group. So I'm going to share something with you right now. Um, let me just go over here. I want to just, uh, I want to read you something actually, because this is going to be really exciting. You know, solo ads or solo ads or solo ads, and they're great. And there's a lot of usefulness for them. But I got to tell you, I have a new person that just came on board. Um, and, and let me, before I do this, let me just ask you all who might be online with us, put in the box down there below, because we have a chat box and let me know if you are using solo ads and if you are having success, because see, here's what you have to consider. If you are offering lead lightning, okay, that is $7 that it costs you one time and you make $6 every time you sell it. But let's say you sell 10, you make $60. If you are upgraded to power lead system, you are going to make, more money on people who upgrade. Okay. You're going to make somebody that comes in directly to you with power lead system. You're going to make $20 a month. Okay. $20 a month. You might get pass ups and make $20. You're going to get a 50% match on your pass ups. So if you get somebody really good and they pass up, you don't have to worry about it. The reason you don't have to worry is because you're still going to make something off that. But here's what's going to happen if you have lead lightning and you run traffic, you are not going to get the benefit of your traffic. Let me say that again. If you are not upgraded and you start running a lot of traffic and you're on my team and you're not upgraded, you're just going to be making me money. That's the truth. Now, I don't mind making money, but I'd rather show you how to make money in all fairness. So again, if you look at coachbgoldnuggets.com, where you are on right now, 
Uh, some of you are with your own links because we have a share code and, and you can have it on, you can have me coming in and training on your own link, which is great. Uh, on, on mine, I have it for my people the same way, my group. But, you know, if you are in lead lightning only, you cannot make more than $6 off a $7 sale. In order to make more money, you're going to have to upgrade and listed on, on this page below are all the different aspects of the lead lightning and the upgrades. Cause I want you to know the front end, you know, Hey, here's the deal. It is a great funnel when we're uh, putting traffic out there. But you know, when we, when we bring our friends onto this training, I don't mind showing them what's going to happen, what's going to be at stake. And then you also have a chance to get free ad secrets, $147. You make a hundred dollars every time that, that is sold. And then you also have um, Social Profit Academy, $497, but you make $400 direct every time. Now, look down there and you're gonna see what the second tier you know, offering is. My point is, let me just give you an example. I was gone all last week to a conference, okay? Thank you, Barry Tuck, for running that, and Chuck, for being on last week and doing the training on branding. I heard y'all did an awesome job. I've just gotten back, haven't even had a chance to look at that. But when you start looking at what I made last week, it blows my mind. Somebody came in uh, with Lead Lightning, thank you, Erica, and she upgraded to gold, and then she got free ad secrets, and then she got Social Profit Academy. So, by me being totally upgraded, I had the opportunity to make, well, 400, 100, you know, uh, over $500 last week because one person came in to lead lightning, saw the value, and then, up, up, uh, you know, upgraded. So trust me, if you're going to start running a lot of traffic to your lead lightning link, which you'd want to do, y y be careful if you haven't upgraded. So upgrade as quickly as you can. So here's what I want to just share with you. You know, um, next week what we're going to be covering is how to really make a little more money because I have a brand new person, uh, and I'm going to tell you what she is going to come on and she's going to spill the beans because she is a publisher. So what we we're going to do is we're going to be talking about CPA offers. We're going to talk about uh, CPC cost per click CPA is cost per action and the, the truth is that cost per action that's the truest form of performance marketing rather than basing payouts on bulk traffic which may or may not convert the cost per action refers to compensated affiliates publishers for real sales leads and other conversion metrics so this is often the most empowering okay um, and method uh, for advertisers is able to just get direct results from your advertising budget. So the CPA model is um, a risk-free approach to advertising that usually targets niches, okay? Specific publishers or uh, clever affiliates. The key is obviously relevance, okay? In order for a CPA offer to be worthwhile for an affiliate, the affiliate must be able to consistently get conversions. Um, you know, and perhaps the most popular model for the CPA offers is pay per lead. This often gives advertisers the numbers they need to create effective campaigns while empowering the affiliates to get more conversions. So um, these are some of the things that we're going to be looking at. Now, your CPC is your cost per click. This describes when an advertiser pays for users who actually click on the advertisement or the offer. Uh, the, the, the advantage for the advertisers is that they are only paying for real visitors to the site or the offer. Um, so typically CPC campaigns are targeted towards affiliate and publishers. Um, so these are some of the things we're going to be covering, but I want to just go right now. I'm going to pull this up um, and, and just kind of go through something that uh, she shared with me. Um, let me just find it right here. Okay, uh, she said that adding affiliate marketing, okay, great CPC ads, great CPAs that convert, and some CPS offers, along with your main opportunity. Listen, we were just Skyping right before I came on here. So 
if you do that, it's, she says it's a must. In other words, you not only have your opportunity, but you need great CPC ads. All right? You need great CPA ads that convert. And I just went over what that means. And having these along with your, you know, your main offer is, is just a must. And so she, we're, we're talking about this. Um, she said, all of your people would understand the money niche. And if they want to add in diet, health, and dating, that would only add to the income. So see, you wouldn't only be offering your opportunity, but these other affiliate offers. And, um, you know, she said, I'm not a big fan myself of the dating niche, but it really converts. So I can appreciate that. She says, then once you have a money niche list, you're going to have women. And she puts, oh my gosh, <laughs> you would not believe the offers they convert on like crazy. And window replacement, laser hair removal, finance is huge, she says. Um, but work online job offers and work from home opportunities, she said, still hit the best. The... Uh, so, you know, she's talking about right here, you're probably going to need to uh, know what affiliate networks are. Um, so here's one thing she shared, a little nugget. Tammy, if you are on there, you can put it in yourself, but I will go back and I'll go ahead and uh, share what you shared. Go to OfferVault.com, O-F-F-E-R-V-A-U-L-T. It'll tell you what affiliate networks to go to, to get, how much they pay out, uh, then you have to sign up and get in with those affiliate networks. Here's the funny thing. She says, uh, which most people will get turned away from immediately. You know, I found that in JVZoo and things. You know, you try to get on with a particular JVZoo product and they're saying, you know, prove to me that you're valuable for me to let you sell my product. And that's okay. You know, you, you've got to uh, share a little bit about who you are. But, you know, you get turned down, you go back, you try again. Uh, because the whole point is they need you and you need them. Uh, but the affiliate networks just want you to call them, she says. They want you to pay, give them some love and let them know that you are for real. You're a publisher. So you have a list and you can make them money. That's all they really care about. Uh, but they can't risk just anyone signing up because there's so many, you know, fake people and senders and all like that. So anyway, she says that can be your homework, okay? Uh, she said even Google affiliate networks, uh, learn the term middleman the hard way. She said, LOL. <laughs> anyway, that's really cool stuff that, uh, that she's sharing with us about what we're going to be covering more and more next week, which is, you know, again, uh, solo ads are great. I've used them at times. I can't say that it's my favorite model. That's just being honest. Uh, but it is a good way. To, for beginners to begin to build a list. But you really, again, you have to go back, you have to understand a little bit about what you're doing in the process. So just to reiterate and go back to what we were talking about, go in your training area, whether you're in lead lightning or power lead system, go in your training area, go to marketing after you log in, once you get a login, okay? It's not the same as your, as your login for your lead lightning or power lead system. Okay. You have to set up a different one. Now you can set up the same one, but the whole point is it's a, it's access to the PLS training back office. Okay. So you get that, you go in there, you click on marketing, you begin going down through there and checking out some of those things. Like I showed you clicking on them, educating yourself. You can, you can go into solo checker, check that out. Watch Manny's uh, video. Uh, but then look at all those people go over to Facebook, put them in the search, start trying to check them out, uh, go to solo ads, testimonials, begin looking at those, studying it. You know, if you're in a business or even if you were in a hobby that, that consumed you, you would have to really give it some time and some energy and some effort. And that's what you've got to do here because your business is important. One thing I always remind people is all of us started with zero on our list. You know, not a single person started in this business with a whole lot of people on a list. So everybody starts somewhere. There's no better time than now to begin to build your list because by the time you hit 5,000, you've got momentum. And by the time you hit 10,000, you've got an ATM machine for your offers, you know, 
everything that you're doing for your opportunities. So get in there and build your list. Remember, 100 clicks for a test. If somebody won't test you with 100 clicks, then go next and go to your next solo vendor, okay? You need somebody that's going to let you test. You know, I mean, it's like if you go to Costco, the reason they let you test some of the samples of their food is because they believe in enough to let you test it, knowing that you're going to buy that bag of chips and take it home from Costco, okay? Does every single person um, buy the bag of chips? No. Well, every single person that gets 100 clicks get more from that vendor? No. But I'll guarantee you, if that vendor is good, that vendor will be about forming the relationship with you, accepting your friendship, communicating with you when you then message with you, answering your questions, getting some feedback. So you know what? Because that gentleman was so uh, kind, I'm going to do a 100 click test with him. And then I'm going to run 300 with him. But next week, get ready. Because this is going to be a lot of fun when Tammy, uh, my friend and colleague who is a publisher, is going to come on and start spilling the beans about the CPA offers and CPC and, you know, just all of this. What we're, you know, what this is really about, it's about drilling down and getting you more bang for your buck. That's the truth. You know, why make this much money when you can make this much money? But if you don't know how to do that, it won't work. So stay tuned for next week when we're going to go and dive in a little bit deeper. Uh, again, go back to that link that I gave you, OfferVault.com. Start, you know, getting some affiliate programs so that when we train on this next week, you will have some affiliate things in place because we're going to have some fun with this. So anyway, this is Dottie Berry. Uh, Want to just really. Thank everybody for being here. Whether you are already in Lead Lightning or Power Lead System or whether you're a guest tonight, you know, your time is valuable and we appreciate you coming here. Uh, I'm pretty much known as Dottie Berry, the Google Hangout Maven. I am a consultant, a coach, a trainer, and a speaker. And um, so that's what I love doing, training on marketing and systems and, uh, you know, putting offers out there and creating income and wealth all over the world, no matter where I am. So. It's been a pleasure to have you here tonight, and I will look forward to seeing you on our next Hangout, and get ready. We're going to have a lot of fun. Bye for now.